Hello. Well, I've just had a, a rather interesting moment of self-discovery, which I guess happens from time to time in this journey of uh, gender discovery. And that is that um, I have posted a number of uh, images of my femme self, Anya, on the website Pinterest. Um, that's a way of, I guess, putting together a portfolio of self-expression and uh, letting others see that and perhaps respond to that, hopefully in the main, positively. Um, but in one or two of the shots, I showed what I, I quite like to do, <laughs> which is an image of both my male and female selves together. And it struck me that why don't I go public with my male name as well as with my femme names. I have two, as you may know if you follow this blog, and they are two different personalities really. But here I was talking about Anya, the very showy uh, extrovert type that's been a part of me now for quite some years. Um, and seeing my name, as it were, in black and white, <laughs> putting it up with this image in a public space, uh, on the one hand was possibly, some might say, foolhardy uh, or courageous, depending on your point of view. Um, it actually felt right to me, strangely, to do that. And looking at the female image with my male name below it, something you would think is very incongruous actually seemed to fit remarkably well. And I realized that I was looking at an image of obviously myself, but a genuine projection of what's inside, the kind of projection that you usually only experience with another person when something within you uh, seems to reflect off of them. And I suppose we could get into all sorts of discussions around the anima and animus, uh, which is the territory of the Jungian, as they're called, uh, analyst psychologists who follow the uh, theories of Carl Jung. And there's definitely a place for that, I'm sure, to discuss uh, at some future point. But a real interesting experience, this actually that combination of name and image that would seem to be a mismatch for the very first time, actually in quite a powerful way, uh, coming across to me as though I was not just looking at a photograph on a screen, but genuinely at myself. So I don't really know what to make about this, but I thought I would share it because it's perhaps not a, a very common experience. And maybe there is something that someone, perhaps you're a psychologist watching this or exploring your own gender and can relate to this in some way, might be able to make of it. Maybe I'll have uh, more of a clue uh, as I continue this journey. Um, but as part of my ongoing vlog, that is my experience for today.